This right here <laughs> is a happy dog face. She does not have to make a sound to tell me uh, what she <laughs> thinks about things. But there are plenty of times I wish that Kona could talk. And I'm sure that you've had the same experience with your pet. Like, you wish they could tell you what was going on. That's Tanya's dog, by the way. <laughs> that is my dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yes, I do. 100% agree. Yep. And I try to, I, it's so funny to watch them when they turn their head and they're trying so hard to understand what you're saying. Right. They really hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then they're like spinning in circles and you're like, yeah, I, what do you need? I know. <laughs> right. I need to help you. <laughs> For sure. So a researcher in Texas is now studying dog sounds and believe it or not, thinks he's going to one day be able to tell us what Fido is saying. Really? Oh my goodness. Mm. Let's check it out. I've, I've been fascinated by how intelligent they are, and I, I was always wondering whether they actually have language. Kenny Zhu is a professor of computer science at the University of Texas at Arlington. He's dedicated to uncoding the mystified language of man's best friend. Yeah. So you can listen to each and every one of the phonemes. So this spectrogram actually shows you the uh, frequency and their strength. By collecting sounds from different sources and stripping away other noises, he then catalogs those sounds and segments them into pieces like syllables and assigns each a symbol similar to our alphabet. The project is backed by a three-year, $483,000 grant. It boils down to, you know, facilitate better communication, better understanding between different species, and ultimately we just want to have a better world. A better world knowing what your dog's saying to you. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it'd be so cool. Have a dog translator. You can put it around his neck. And That's right. Be like, I want food. I need no. to go outside. I, I will say, food. I will say, and this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Oh. I really like that there is a member of my family who cannot say anything to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, when you come home and you're tired, the tail's wagging, but nobody's actually saying like anything. Like peace and quiet. Yes. 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 No, one's telling, no one's telling so and so what you said to them at a certain point. Right. They just look Sandy and I talking as married people. <laughs> this is why these two are kind of going, what? You just need that little bit of silence. I mean, it's just nice that they can't say anything and you talk to them and they're just That's like, right. yeah, I right. actually love that. I love, I, really you. Do. I love you. Everything's happy. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be interesting to see where this research project goes. In the meantime, talking to your pet, you know what I'm going to tell you that they know and they what they want to tell you that they know? That they want a treat. Oh. So you're welcome, Fido, Always. because I just got you a treat. Yeah, that is a fact. <laughs>